Hi my viewer, I trust you are doing fine. This is Sarah Kimani. I'm your relationship and marriage therapist and coach and I like it when we share together. I trust you had a nice time. So today we are going to talk about parties or working parties to a marriage. Who is it that is supposed to work more or who is supposed to work harder in a marriage than the other? All right, let's discuss that. And before we discuss that, let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because you're a good God. You love marriages, Lord. You love the people and the parties of marriage, O Jehovah. I pray that you may bless all the spouses of this world, wherever they are, and bless them, O God Almighty, as you help them, O God Almighty, to just renew their covenant, O God, with each other, and their marriage, O dear Lord, vows with each other in the name of the Lord, and help them to thrive in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you and we bless you. As we share together, O Lord Almighty, let your presence be upon us. We love you and we honor you in Jesus name Amen so my view of the issue is there are people who look up to each to the others to work on their marriages yet they don't want to work on them themselves I don't know if you have watched this video that I did before last year but the marriage that you're in my friend you must work on it you must work on it marriages do not work on their own and again it does not take one person to make a marriage it takes two people to make a marriage work let me tell you something even if it's a husband and he does everything he does everything hundred percent and the wife is not working that marriage will not work on the other hand, if the wife is the one who is doing everything from A to Z, while the husband is just watching, that marriage will not work. It takes two to tango. It takes two to make a marriage work. It takes two to make a thriving marriage work. So don't sit there as a spouse and expect your spouse to do everything. Wake up in the morning, pray for the children, provide, do everything and, and in case of any conflict, she or he is the one to say sorry first. You know, you're doing nothing but enjoying the fruit of marriage without working for it. There is nothing like that in this world. And so what you do is that you plant what you want to reap. And let me tell you sooner than later, if you're not working on your marriage, your spouse will get tired. They can only do so much. They can only be just one person. They can never be husband and wife. They can never be higher. wife and husband together. They can only be one party, one person that the Lord has made them to be. So do not look at your spouse to do everything for your marriage. It is you to do together. You know, hold hands, pray together. Do devotions together. Do parenting together. Just make the marriage work. Date each other. Do things that marriage couples do together. Do not look at one person to do everything. It doesn't work that way. And sooner than later, you will find that it's not working and one person will be straining and it will not work. So that's my prayer. Because I don't want people to just say, oh, she will do it. Oh, he will do it. It takes two. And that's why you're in that marriage so that you can work together. You pray and you do things together. It's not one person. It's two in every way. It is two in every way. Okay. So stop watching and stop relaxing. Keep working on your marriage because marriage takes two to work. Okay. God bless you so, so much. And I will see you soon. Bye.